Well, hello, and welcome back to Snow Day Dragon Quest. Last time, we watched the Abbot get brutally murdered by Duel Magus. That dastardly Duel Magus. Um, is this done yet? No, don't give up. I need my I need my feathered hat. Um, oh, shit. Where do we want? To where do we want to go? <laughs> Out to Simpleton and probably past him. I was trying to think if there was any additional paths, but there is not. And we made a feathered cap. Okay. Another exceedingly rare item. Absolutely brilliant, folks. Damned brilliant. Mm, no. A reinforced boomerang is tempting. A boomerang plus something pointy. We've got a boomerang. <laughs> what if it was with the gold rosary? That's pointy. That's try pointy actually. The world map. Surely it wouldn't be iron nails. I'm thinking it's a dagger or something like that. Some type of bladed sword. Or not. Maybe it is the boomerang and the nails. Okay. I guess a sword or dagger wouldn't be considered pointy so much. They'd probably use the descriptor sharp. Ho oh, ho ho! Our world map. How do I... How do I move the courser on here? Zoom out, return. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Apparently I can't move the courser. I'm really not allowed? <laughs> not allowed to move the map? What the fuck is going on? How can a person not be able to move the map around? You'll notice the Abbot's building back there no longer has a bridge connecting it. Or at least doesn't have a bridge connecting it. Seems like it should. Okay, we've got Simpleton to the south. And it does look like the road just passes around it. I'm not entirely sure if I actually want to go check out Simpleton or not. And the bullfinches are sleeping. Okay. Plump attack, Angus attack, Jessica attack, and Angelo, you have no abilities. And you can heal. Okay, 22 damage, wow. <clears throat> I'm kind of, uh... Everyone can heal but Jessica. I'm surprised by that. Actually... Everyone, show no mercy. I want you just going all out, okay? Yeah, use all your magic up. I don't care. doesn't matter that much to me. Yangus is still the meathead. 92 experience. So I probably need at this point 20 fights with that much experience to level up. You can see how it quickly becomes ridiculous if you try to stay in an area and grind out levels. You can do it. Look, Bell. I ain't dealing with you. Yeah, you can stay in an area and do it, but it's much better just to press on if you can. I just don't want him to summon that stupid thing. It's gonna throw sand in my eyes. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. A Largo or something. That did so much damage to this to this she slime. To the sandy cells shells down by the seashore. Hello, horse. I think I think I mentioned that before. I think we either get a saddle or carrots to ride the horse. I can't exactly remember. What are you doing, ma'am? 
Wasn't there some story about Angelo having a half-brother in Malia Abbey? I hope he wasn't hurt in the fire, whoever he is. It would be a tragedy. I think we'll sleep anyways. Uh... You know what, let's rest until evening. I don't know if we've actually fought any monsters out in the wilderness. At night around here. Is anybody in here? Yes, you are. The boss lost a fair bit of dough to the gaffer here at Cards. But rather than cough up, he said we'll work off the debt for him. Who does he think we are? His slaves? Then don't do it. Beat him up and take his boat or ship, whatever the heck he's got. Is anything going on in the bar? There's a lot of notes plastered to the door. Hmm. I'm so bored of this place. Why don't you come with us? <laughs> I I haven't seen them. Seen seen you. It must oh been ages. Now then, who are you again? Holy crap, everyone in here is plastered. Is it because of the abbot's death? Do you know that young lad Angelo from the Abbey? He's an old customer of mine, actually. He's had a lot to deal with as he's grown up, you know. His father liked to put himself about a bit, you see. And then the poor boy lost both his parents in the plague. Didn't get his parents' mansion, blah blah blah. Poor guy. Angelo should basically be a prince in this town. Yeah, well, put some drinks on the table for me, bub. What do you do up here? Well, we use this dumb waiter to bring food and drink up from downstairs. Okay. I thought maybe she would have a mini game or something we could play. I don't think I've broken you before. A mini medal. Slaughter all the barrels. I'm only peddling like this because no one's come to this shop for a while. How dare they? Leaving me all alone. Uh, let's see. Rapier, no. Thorn whip, no. Launches tiny fireballs at enemies when used in battle. But holy shit is it expensive. Long spear is really tempting for plump, but that is incredibly expensive. Sledgehammer, incredibly expensive. You know what? Hang on. I need to check some of this stuff out. Angelo, can you use this? 45, yes. You need a shield. Equip it. Let's not be, let's not be dumb here. The feathered cap would be nice too. But, oh wow, Angelo, I guess this is for you, even though I should probably give it to Jessica because she is so weak and so puny and so easily beat up. Get out of here. I need to disperse some herbs around the crew, a little bit of inventory here, how exciting. See, plump, you definitely don't need any. Angelo, yeah. It's better than them ending up with worthless gear in their inventory that they can't, they can't do anything with. If you can't use a piece of equipment in combat or you can't equip it, then it's completely worthless in your inventory. What else do we got? Seat of defense, seat of magic. I don't know why I'm saving them instead of not instead of using them, but it's just what I do. Seat of wisdom. Still gonna use all of them on plump regardless. 
Even if all of these characters never run away or have anything dumb happen to them. Still using all of them on all of them on plump. What the hell is this balcony for? From a gameplay from a game design perspective, what is the purpose? Oh, I know. Later there'll be somebody up there that we need to hunt down and find, and the only clue is he'll be on a simple balcony. Or something like that. Trust me. I expect nothing but pain from this game later on. Or at least for some of the things. What do we got? I'm sure the moths are going to try to put us to sleep. I'm more terrified of the jargon though, because if he blinds us with sand, we're completely screwed. And of course, he's going to blind us with sand. You've got whoosh? How did I miss that? I guess I never did check his spells in... Yeah, I did. I checked him in combat. Hmm. I don't think anybody needs healed. Kill the fucking Jargon. Could you not pick on the weakest member of my party, please? Pick on Yangus. Thank you. He's the big meathead. He needs to be picked on. He thrives by being picked on. How do you think he got all those scars? Standing up for others and taking a beating. Totally not how he got those scars. Probably got him by murdering mothers and children. And trying to take their goods. Throwing them off the bridge with their animals. If they don't have enough to pay them. 212 experience. Pretty damn good. Level 14. Yangus gets 3 strength. Continues to be... A little bit... Of an OP powerhouse. Take humanity up to 30. He's become sentimental. He learns war cry. Another completely useless ability that I will never use. It is, in my opinion, and from my memory, the same thing as Intimidate. I think you war cry and the enemy gets scared. Something dumb like that. I don't care if the AI uses it by setting up tactics. But I don't want to. Lump Mages. Could you not? Hmm. Status Ailment City. Confusion. Hallucinations. I have no idea what hallucinations do. Fuddle is obviously confusion. And it's frustrating as hell. Thankfully, somebody who's confused uh, or fuddled is more likely to hurt themselves than anyone else. Uh, let's see, Jessica gets to level 11, 5 and 5, 3 strength, 5 agility, and 3 wisdom. She learns Sizz and Evac. Okay. Let's take Sex Appeal all the way up. I don't care about weapons. All of your weapons are gonna suck ass anyways, Jess. She's, those around Jess start to realize just how sexy she can be. Some monsters also begin to realize it. Okay. Curiouser and curiouser, what does that mean? 
Where are we going? Ascantha Castle. And there is so much countryside off the side of the road to explore. I don't care what this map says. It feels like it's more than that. We've got quite a ways to go. Thrilled to finally have a map, though. Giant moths, come on. Ooh, I like that. Teamwork, yeah! Starting to see a beautiful thing come together. That's what that means? That is beautiful. They'll randomly be charmed to her. Each party member gets a bunch of experience. Having that this early is kind of... kind of nice. I think... Yeah, I think that's the way to go, then get all those maybe special dances and stuff, and then go for the attacks with her because it's probably not going to matter much. Um... I'm going to guess that Intimidate won't work. This is going to be bad. Let's go for the mushrooms first. Really? Get the fuck out of here! I ain't ready to go to bed, mushrooms. I am the mushroom god. You think you can seduce me? We ain't having any of it. Cursed orbs of pure hatred at the sleeping Yangus. And he's now cursed. I don't like the sound of that. I think we have to actually go to a, a church for that. for that. Please don't curse everyone. Assholes. <sighs> They're not actually doing that much damage. What does cursed mean? I thought maybe it meant they would do less damage, but no. Maybe they would take extra damage. No. Maybe it doesn't mean anything anymore? They don't look cursed anymore. Hundred and forty five experience. So, what the heck does curse do? Maybe I was just being paranoid and worried about it for no reason. What, what curse am I confusing it with? Let's see. Help. Don't care about any of that. It won't be long now. No. Don't give up. Never give up, never surrender, never dump out your stew early, you must let it simmer until, until the bell goes off, jump in the gun just a little bit, a few seconds every time, a reinforced boomerang, brilliant, another exceedingly rare item, um, I don't think there's any other recipes new that we can do. We've got strong antidote, bandit's grass skirt, plus bandana, which I don't have. I don't have another leather hat. What about a cypress stick and a wooden pot lid? Will that make anything? It's cheap crap. No. I was kind of excited for a second. Okay. Hmm. A leather whip plus a gold rosary. 
would create Castlevania <laughs> and give us a magic vampire slaying whip. I didn't think that would work. Okay. This is kind of pointless, I believe. What if... Can I do two holy waters? Come up with a super holy water that lasts... No. Look, I don't need your advice trying to cheer me up every time I screw this up. I'm just going to put two medical herbs in there. I need more strong medicine. It was actually very useful in that fight. And I do enjoy fights where I scrape through just barely. I think there might be... No! No. I don't want to fight 15 monsters. That little path through the trees behind us. It looks like there's a ledge that you can actually go up on. If I'm reading that right. If not, I almost guarantee there's a treasure chest back there. This is quite a large area to explore. Ascatha or whatever. The castle. Okay, fly guys. I don't remember what they did except they killed us. Or at least really annoyed me at one point. Oh, that's right. They fizz. Because they don't want you healing. As they do a shit ton of damage. At least to Jess. Could you not pick on her? I'll run away. I won't murder you! I'll run away, you sons of bitches! Don't make me tuck my tail between my legs and flee. I really should have given that to her. Whatever. I'm just going for the kill. Hell yeah! She's tired of being picked on too. Call them baby Baxters. Rubbing their disgusting limbs together like that. Nimble, too. Hundred and seventy two experience. Worth it. Worth it. So let's see. Plump. Actually, let's have Angelo heal. He can be our out of combat healer. He's actually got a decent amount of MP as well, 38. He was made to be the backup bitch healer. Every party needs at least one. I see a house up there. Slime Knight. The enemies don't notice us, so let's fuck them up. You guys attack whoever you want. Again, I'll assume that they go after the weakest. Enemy. Dwindle their numbers and then go for their leaders. I bet the Slime Knight drops something good. What is this? Another wide open area? Definitely something up between there. I just want you guys to see all these places, get a visual map of them in your head. Because probably next video or the video after. At some point in the future we'll be running back through here. I'm kind of on a beeline mission right now. Mummy boys, you're about to get fucked. And I didn't give her the boomerang again. So I'm gonna <sighs> she stuns one of them. The mummy boy remembers what it was like to be a real boy when he looks at Jessica. Just for a brief moment. Could you not? Oh, she can't move. Okay. That's what 
cursed days. Basically the same thing as being asleep or paralyzed. Maybe until you get hit. I, maybe one turn and then it wore off, whatever. Angelo deflects it. Having recently... wasn't. I'm pretty sure he was cursed earlier. I say, having recently been cursed, he... He knows what to do to avoid it. He's not going through it again. Come on. I wish I had an item like a spyglass or something that would let me see their health. I want to know how often it's one hit point away. Plump gains to level 14. Three strength, three agility, five whopping skill points. I'm gonna put all those into courage too. Yeah. Didn't do a whole lot of good, but whatever. Nose for treasure. Nose for treasure is really only useful in dungeons, if I'm not mistaken. By the time you guys get caught up to this video, you can leave a comment. Is it only useful in dungeons? For the people who watch this later on and read the comments, help out your fellow man. Hello, old people. My granddaughter Emma works as a maid at the castle. She's a lovely, hard-working girl, but she's not been able to take any holiday for these past two years now. I do miss her visits. Hmm, the way to the castle just follow the path to the east and you'll come to it eventually. Oh, we don't often get visitors here. Are you on your way to the castle? Yes, we are. Well, I don't mean to speak out of turn, but I'd turn back if I were you. It'll be a wasted journey. And why is that? Hello, nothing. A silk robe. <sighs> Take that off your guys' hands. Another mini metal. It'll probably be like another 12 end game hours until we even get to the point where we can trade those in for anything. Can we get down below? No. Like, see, it looks like we could take this path right to there, behind the building. I just want to get... Ah, fly guys. I just want to get powerful enough I can use the holy water and avoid most combat. Right now, that is definitely not happening. We would be getting attacked every five to six steps or less. Which would eventually just wear on my nerves and you guys would have to hear me get mad again. Could you die? Thank you. And I still did not give her the reinforced boomerang. Look, it's 8.14 right now in the morning. I haven't slept in like 24 hours. I'm exhausted. But I want to keep recording and I don't want to go to bed. It's a snow day. I've got to make the best of this day. And record as much half awake videos as I possibly can 176 experience okay the boomerang <laughs> let's fucking toss it over to Jessica so I'm just talking about it you tell me she can't equip that that'd be very good for plump 71 damage how how can she not equip that You know what, let's equip it. I'm curious. Does this sword do anybody any good? No, no one else can equip it. Okay. 
Well then, I don't even think I need the key in my inventory. I'm pretty sure that just having it in your backpack is enough to use it. Ah, oh, an inn. Or a church. Greetings, travelers. Would you like to rest here at our chapel? Today is a religious holiday. We usually accept a small donation for our beds, but tonight you may stay for free. Sure. The facilities are rather basic, but I trust you will rest well. Oh, man. Who's messing with the lightsaber? Like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Maybe it would help to get it off your chest, hmm? And not that I want to force you, mind. Oh, I don't know. Maybe things will never be right between us. He, Marcello, will never forgive me. If only we didn't share common blood, I'm sure we'd get along fine. I really doubt that. I think that's just Angelo once again deflecting and lying. Doesn't want to tell the truth, so just... Make up some bullshit. That even he shouldn't believe. Oh god, come on. Am I going to have to change the... Graphic settings. Every time there's a flashback. Hang on. You guys are going to see behind the scenes. I got to take this to software mode. It's always well known around these parts for his benevolence. There's a hotkey, I think, that he interferes. In children who had nowhere else to go. Okay. And I was one of them. My parents were well off, part of the aristocracy. But then they both died. All of a sudden, I was left with no family and no money. The Abbey was the only place I could go. At least he didn't go bald like all the other orphan children that showed up. Why are they missing hair on their heads? It's disturbing me. You're new here, aren't you? Are you here to join the brothers? Have you come all on your own? Oh, you must be exhausted. Where are your things? Is that all you've got? Um, my mummy and daddy died, so I don't have many things. And I don't have anywhere else to go. You sound a lot like me. But there's no need to worry. Abbot Francisco and all of us will be your family from now on. But... But... Let's go and find the abbot. Come on now, don't cry. Why don't you tell me your name? Angelo. 
Angela. You. So you're Angelo. What a turn. Leave. I want you to leave. You leave and never come back. I don't ever want to see you again. So you're intent on ruining this life for me as well, are you? Marcello was the golden boy of the Abbey. He studied hard and had a bright future ahead of him. But when it came to me, his attitude wasn't so positive. I'm so sorry, child. I'm sad to say I heard that little exchange. It's so unlike Marcello to act like that. I just don't understand. Ah. I see. I always knew he had a half-brother. That's you, isn't it? You're Angelo. Is this why they go bald? Well, they say time heals all wounds. Let's hope your living here will make everything all right. Now, come along with me. From today onwards, this will be your home. Why don't I introduce you to everyone? Not long after that, I heard the full story for the first time. About how I had a half-brother who was born from an affair between my father and one of the maids. And that was Marcello. If I hadn't been born, he'd have been next in line to my father. But when I was born, Marcello and his mother were thrown out of the house with nothing to their names. She died soon afterwards. I'm pretty sure you could at least understand a little bit where Marcello was coming from then. I mean, it's not your fault, but damn, it'd be hard not to feel that way. He had no one. So he ended up at the Abbey, hating me and my father for all those years. Especially as a kid before you learn how to deal with all of that stuff. <laughs> before you learn how shit life really is. And how to actually cope with it. Quite a bombshell, don't you think? I was so young and innocent then, too. The whole thing hurt more than you can imagine. And back to good graphics we go with hardware mode. Still, c'est la vie. My father got off lightly. He did just what he wanted and then died, and left me to take the consequences. I'm the only one left for Marcello to hate now. In a way, I can't say I blame him. And it was probably good that we lived together. At least it gave him someone to take it all out on. It certainly added a bit of spice to the humdrum life at Maella Abbey, anyway. Angelo, I'm so... This story's gone on long enough. Look, it's nearly daybreak. Wait! Wait, I need more drama. Hang on, I haven't got my juicy fill of the OC yet. Come back! I do like the characters in this game. For some reason, even though... It... I... There's parts of them that feel cliche, but compared to other, like, JRPGs, they still feel fresh and unique. Which is due entirely to the writing. Well, let's see. Good morning. I'm really shocked. I didn't think there was going to be a cutscene there. What if you, like, bypass this place? Seed of magic. What if you were powerful enough to not need to rest? Hmm. Hmm, let's see. Who's going to level up soon? Plump, you need 3,000. Yangus, 1,600. Jessica, 200. 300, basically. 
An Angelo 300. Well, let's see. I think I'm going to save it. I'm going to end the video here. Whenever we come back, we'll continue pressing on to the castle and find out why we shouldn't waste our time there. I'm sure it's going to be something horrible. Those people haven't seen their daughter in like two to three years. They say she's just too busy, but is that really the case? Find out next time on Dragon Quest 8.